In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on Piaget's stages of cognitive development by going over the second stage, the pre-operational stage. The stage is from ages two through seven. During this stage, children learn to think using symbols, but their thinking can be illogical. As an example of children using symbols, we can talk about pretend play. So pretend play is when children, for example, hold an empty cup up to their mouth and pretend to drink from it, right? It's not like the children is actually drinking any fluids from the cup, but they're able to use the empty cup as a symbol that can be used to represent a beverage. Another example would be children pretending that they're having a sword fight using sticks. In this case, the stick is a symbol for swords. Another important development during the stage is language development. Children rapidly learn language. However, just because they can understand the language and speak the language doesn't mean that they have the same level of reasoning and logic as adults. As we're going to see with the next two points, they don't. So one development phenomena in this stage is egocentrism. Egocentrism is when people, or in this case children, fail to consider perspectives other than their own. These children believe that the way that others perceive a situation is the same way they perceive the situation. To illustrate this, we can consider a couple of examples, buying a gift and the three mountain task. So for buying a gift, the situation is that a boy goes to a store with his parents his parents tell him to pick out a toy for his sister's birthday. So the boy goes around the store and picks a toy car, thinking that if I like this toy, then my sister must like this toy too. So in this case, you can see how it's egocentrism. The boy thinks that his sister must like this toy because he likes it. He fails to consider that his sister might have different interests than himself. Another example is the three mountain task. And this is one of the famous experiments that Piaget developed. So on this diagram, you can see how this three mountain task works. The child is placed in front of a setup with three mountains. And you can see on the table, the child can be standing at different positions. The child is gonna be standing from one position and they can see the mountains in some perspective. They're now asked, what would someone else see if they were standing at a different position at the table? For example, if a, the person was standing on the opposite side of the table, what would they see in comparison to what the child see? And for children that are egocentric, they will always say that other people, regardless of where they're standing around the table, will always see the same thing that the child sees. So that's also egocentrism. All right. And another important point is that this is the pre-operational stage, which means these children's reasoning is also pre-operational. This means that the children do not understand conservation or transformations. And in our next stage, which is the concrete operational stage, we'll discuss what exactly is conservation and transformations, and they'll better able to allow us to understand what these children are incapable of.